Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sunday morning. I hope that this finds you at home, enjoying some cozy time with your family as we worship the Lord together, even though we're apart. I wanted to share a story with you about an adventure my family had um, some years past. We were in the Shenandoah Mountains in a special place called Big Meadow that we loved very much. And we were going on a tour of the meadow and the guide was teaching us all about the meadow, about the birds that flew there, about the flowers that grew there, about all the little creatures that lived in the meadow. And we were having a really nice time, but it was kind of a gray day. And as the morning went on, a very thick white fog came down upon the meadow until we could not see anything, not even my hand in front of my face. It was that thick. And suddenly, Ellie and I realized that we were separated from the rest of the group, and we had no idea how to find them. Mr. Agnello was with the rest of the group, so Ellie and I were alone in the fog in the middle of the meadow. So what do we do? Well, we did the only thing we could do. We sat down in the middle of that meadow and I pulled Ellie into my lap and I said to Ellie, we're gonna wait for daddy to come find us. And do you know, we weren't really even that scared because we knew that Ellie's daddy, Mr. Agnello, loved us very much. And the minute he realized we were missing, he was gonna come and find us and sure enough, not very long after that, we heard his voice calling for us through the fog. He came and found us, and he led us back to our car to a safe place. And do you know that that's what God is like? That there are times when we might feel a little bit lost, or a little bit afraid, or confused, or unsure of what to do. The past couple of weeks have kind of felt like that for me, because things are different than they were before. But God says to me, and he says to you, that when you're afraid or unsure, you can be still in your heart and wait for him, and he will come to you. And there's a Bible verse that says that. It's from Psalm chapter 27, verse 14. So listen to this, because this is God's word to you and to me this morning. It says, wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Boys and girls, we can wait for the Lord and not be afraid because God promises to come for us and God always keeps his promises. I love you very much. I miss you very much. And I hope you have a wonderful Sunday.